In this video, we are going to solve 10 hard questions of PMP. Now, special attention has been given to the change request topic. I have taken every single scenario how to handle change request in agile, in predictive, product backlog, if the sprint is getting obsolete. Every single scenario has been taken in particular video. In addition to that, how to handle issue log, how to handle contingency reserves have been discussed in this particular topic. Watch this video, pause it, solve the question yourself and put your answer in the comment. What do you think about this particular answer? And if you are watching it, do like it, share it and subscribe our channel to get more content after this. Now the video you just clicked. The initial project manager most likely miss. You have just taken over a project in execution from another project manager. In your first week, you are unpleasantly surprised to receive emails from several stakeholders asking questions about the objective of the project as well as their roles and responsibility. You are also concerned about what, uh, what, what appears to lack of commitment by the team. What did the pro initial project manager miss? We have B, we have A. Conducting the kickoff meeting, yes, kickoff, kickoff is one of the time when the project plan is ready, the team comes, you share with everyone, okay, these are your responsibility, you need to do this particular thing. So yes, Sachin, the kickoff can be the answer. Uh, right, Resi would be clear about that, okay, but yes, Resi can also be the answer. Creating a Resi matrix, I'll come to that. Identify the stakeholder, team charter, no. So basically, RACI matrix is responsibility, accountability, consult, inform. Who is responsible about particular thing? Who is accountable, consult, to inform? But this question particularly ta task about that they are not also cleared about the project objective. This is a very important keyword. They are not clear about the project active objective as well as their roles and responsibilities. So kickoff meeting is basically done to clarify what are the objective project objective or what are the key responsibility for every single individual. So that has been missed in this particular question. Document analysis. What is the best course of action in this situation? You have just taken over a project, which is in the process of project player. The project has experienced numerous setbacks, which have caused cost and schedule overrun. So cost is high, schedule is high. You want to ensure that any mistakes that were made in a project are not repeated to in ensure improved performance for future project. So what has happened? This project did not happen good and you identify okay, some bad things has happened. So you do not do not want that this thing happen again. So what you will do? Stakeholder analysis has nothing to do with that. Okay, what answers we are getting? Perform technical performance analysis Performance analysis, okay, D, B, C. Stakeholder analysis has to do nothing with that. Reserve analysis and nothing to do. Document analysis, analyzing at the document, reading each every document, lesson learned, final report, every single document can give you the insight how you can improve into that. Technical performance analysis is a tool that we use in procurement to see how much work is done and where the procurement is being done. Document analysis is a tool that basically we look at when we are looking at the lesson learns to get uh, in order to improve it. That's how basically we write the lesson learn. We make daily reports. Manager do next. Project initiation is complete and the project manager is about to begin project planning. Okay. The company has completed similar project in the past. The project manager was not involved with those project. The project manager has reviewed the project charter to gain a high level understanding of the project as a starting point for the project planning. What should the project manager do next? Consult with the project managers with similar project, okay. Prepare for a project perform by performing the managed project. This comes later. Review the lesson learn register, okay. Search the OPS for similar project. That is the best and straightforward answer that we look for the similar kind of project in the past and we work with them. So D is a straightforward as the right answer to this particular question. D is the answer. Okay. What would you do? 
you are working on the hybrid project how do you handle change request in a hybrid project in a predictive way in a predictive way you are working on a hybrid project project is in execution stage customer has asked you to implement new change immediately if it's not done he will take out his money it's a very interesting thing escalate to the sponsor yes that can become but no implement the change he never comes under pressure project manager never comes under pressure do analysis and send it to cc that is the best way we can do refusal we cannot do these two options are very good a and c but c is a better answer no for real we will not escalate it to sponsor as the change request journey says we will and do the analysis and then send to the change control board he can refer it no matter whoever however important they is always remember never skip the process for no one never skip the process you must always always follow up particular process whatever the process is that that must be followed okay what should you do due to changing requirement the funds have been exhausted without access to the management reserve the project cannot be what to do transfer directly we cannot transfer we don't have to escalate this issue we cannot require the change follow the process simply raise the change request following the proper procedure and that becomes your very right answer okay guys uh, next one two questions will be one liner but they are straight forward simple but the purpose was that you must understand them the language that is being used because in the pmp the questions can be long and it can be like immersed in between them so i want to make sure you understand these questions unidentified risk it's an uh, germoy you, you missed a very important point unidentified risk has occurred you did not identify it did not identify and it occur something that you did not identify and occur it's a issue it's a issue you add it to the issue log so the straight one liner questions and many people made the mistake that's why i actually put it there issue so it's a very critical concept to understand and i have been communicating it through short videos long videos here in the risk topics in the business environment one more time so that this can go into your bone this time you really if you can really hear me that is very important you need to slow down jamai okay question again this question is about one critical concept that we discussed here so that you can understand the difference between change management plan and uh, configuration management plan so i hope this makes sense to you basit got the answer wrong the question was talking about a new change has been added which will affect the version of the software you are using which plan you will update change version affect the product so change management plan is not there risk is not there configuration management plan work with that so d is not the answer c is the right answer for this particular question absolutely c is the answer next you are working in an agile project customer has requested a change if the change is not done in this iteration project can become obsolete what will you do as a agile practitioner add change the product backlog now the question is saying that uh, if we don't do the change now then the it can become obsolete so that is not the answer escalation is not the way in agile at all you need to have a meeting with the team and discuss with the team and if we can add into this iteration yes that can be an answer submitting a change request is not, never a way in an agile so this goes out of the box c is the right answer guys i many people ask that we need a question on change request i have put a lot of question and i guess every single scenario when a customer add a change request agile change request so i i hope 
after this any question that come for the change request you can easily answer that okay your project has been completed what will you do first this is a question for you guys one liner question i gave you the sequence how to do the closing so i hope this makes sense project has been completed the first thing is to get approval to start closing then you write down the lesson learn this and after writing down lesson learn report then you leave it last question for the sponsor emails you that the project has been cancelled now project is cancelled i discussed this scenario when the project get cancelled in the journey of deliverable what you will do first you are working on a construction project with spi 1.2 and cpi 1.3 you are very positive about the project now you are happy but what what happened the company you are working for has gone through a merger and as a result the project does not seem like, like it's not in their strategic vision they have cancelled the project the sponsor emailed you that the project is cancelled now the sponsor is saying that project is cancelled what you will do discuss with the sponsor that you can complete the project with the available resources it is not in the strategic vision so that is useless updating the issue log will not help you because the problem has happened and now you need to end this risk register has nothing to do with them because it's an issue if we have to update we have to update okay issue log not the risk register but the thing is that once the project is cancelled we start validate the scope so we get the money for that and we start closing the project Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it and you put comments and what is your answer for every single question and you have gotten more questions right. I do recommend that if you haven't taken the training, you can join our batch program or one-to-one -one program. You can watch a lot of videos on our YouTube channel and learn about PMP. Once again, thank you for joining us.